do Batman, Superman, James Bond and Eurofighter pilots have in common? Well, they all wear tailor-made suits. Today we're gonna check out how the Eurofighter Typhoon flight suits are made and what special gadgets they have to protect the pilot under extreme pressure in the cockpit or in case of emergency if they need to eject. So stay tuned, this is the Fight Show with me. So guys, let's talk about flight suits and there is no better place to talk about that than on the outskirts of Liverpool. We are today at Sawitech, the world's largest survival technology solutions provider. That's where the Eurofighter Typhoon flight suits are made. And next to me is now Hayley. Hi Hayley, how are you doing? Hi Flo, nice to meet you. So Hayley, with you we're gonna dive now today in the whole world of flight suits. So what do we see behind us here? Yeah, well, this is our G-suits that are currently on test, yep. but before we get into that, let's go onto the shop floor and show you where they're manufactured. Great idea, so let's go. So, Hayley, where are we now here? Well, we're on our production line in our factory where we manufacture your fighter kit. So, you're doing that all here in the UK? So, every fighter suit comes here uh, out of the UK. That's correct. Now, a flight suit is not just a normal piece of fabric, so what needs to be considered when you're manufacturing those Typhoon flight suits? Well, obviously the pilot and the cockpit is a very unique environment, so when we um, design flight gear like this, we have to carefully select all the materials, so it has to be flame retardant, it also has to be strong to withstand the pressures the pilot has put under in the aircraft. Now, the equipment consists out of an a, a anti cheese suit, and a checkered. How long does it take to manufacture those? Because what I learned is that you're doing tailor-made stuff. So every pilot is getting his personal flight suit. How long does that take? Well, it can take for the whole assembly anywhere up to 10 days. And for a G-suit specifically, up to 13 hours before it goes on to test. So that's quick delivery. Mm -hmm. And um, I also know that the trousers and the checkered have some special gadgets. Uh, for the pilots in there. So can we have a closer look and look into the gadgets? Of course. Here we have a real anti cheat trouser. By the way, why do Typhoon pilots need such a trouser? Well, they need this trouser because they reach a certain level of G. This trouser is constantly inflating and deflating and it gives pressure to the pilot's body to stop him losing blood circulation, the blood pooling in the, the, the bottom of his, um, towards his legs and reduces the amount of G-lock and loss of consciousness. Okay, so the blood stays where it needs to be in the brain and everywhere else. Now, there's a lot of functionality in there, I guess. I just see this black thing here. What, what, what's, what's that? That is connected to the air supply in the aircraft, which allows the air to inflate the, the, the trouser and deflate, depending on what level of G they're pulling. Good. Short, shortly talking about, about the fabric, is there any special thing here? Yes, yeah, so the layers have been set, um, carefully selected. Aramid material, um, which has been selected for flame retardancy, um, so it's passed all the flame tests. Inside there's a nylon layer, um, and that gives it the strength it needs to push the inflation towards the pilot's body in the cockpit, and obviously um, giving him more chances of not losing consciousness. Cool, now that's the trouser. Over there, there is the jacket. Let's, let's take a closer look at the jacket. We also have the arm restraint extension lines, which connect to the seat. So on ejection, the um, arms are pulled in and protects against the ejection. Oh, wow, that's a very intelligent system then. Uh, what else? We also have pockets, which are fixed to the waistcoat, which carry the survival aids and a beacon, so it allows the pilot to be rescued and found. Okay, once you're bailing out of the aircraft, this is activated, activated and... Activated, yeah, on automatic activation. Good. And now, now what's inside here normally? Inside here we'd have a stall bladder, which is automatically inflated should the pilot um, hit the water when he ejects. And it brings him up to the surface and then his beacon will uh, signal where he is and he can be rescued and found. Okay, all the rescue gadgets. Now, I guess once it's manufactured, uh, you're going into testing and you do a lot of testing because there is no option of, of failure when you're producing that equipment. And I think that's the next step we are, we are looking at now, right? Yeah, let's, let's go over there. 
Hey guys, we are now going to the laboratories. Oh, there's Bruce, our test engineer over there. Oh, well, let's go. Hey, you must be Bruce, right? Yes, hello. I'm Flo. Pleased Great to meet you. you. Uh, what do you have in your hands here? This is a bladder from a pair of anti g trousers. So the inner life of the anti g trousers, Absolutely, right? yes. And uh, what are you doing with that now? Well, it's just had a leak test. I'm now going to put it on the rack here. And after a certain time, if it's OK, the bladder will be assembled into a pair of anti g trousers. Oh, cool. Now, you've got much more in your laboratory, I guess, than just this one pair. Oh, uh, yes. Can we have a look? Yes, certainly. OK, then let's go. OK. Oh, wow, Bruce. Now, I have to admit, I feel a bit like entering Q's laboratory in the 007 series. All right. I'm here. <laughs> um, we started our episode here and used that as a background. But what exactly are you testing here? We're testing three pairs of anti-G trousers. Normally, we test every 100th garment of production. And we do an inflation, deflation, endurance testing. And, and that's the noise we hear. The, the yes, deflation. that's the air being inflated, yeah. deflated. OK, what else are you testing here? There are a lot of other funny machines you have. Oh yes, we have um, all sorts. We have chambers. We can do temperature and also simulate pressure altitudes up to about 80, 90,000 feet. Okay. Why, why do you do that? Does the fabric change in, in the altitude? Um, well, sometimes it all depends, but normally it's to test for uh, trapped air. Possibly if we vacuum something down at sea level, ground level, when you go at altitude, it would expand if there's any trapped air inside. Now, you get also washing machines in your laboratory. Yes. What's, what do you do with that? Well, all the garments go through a wash cycle, and we've also got some American machines because the American machine is more aggressive than the UK washing machine. That means when the typhoon pilot is going on an exchange, he can wash his, uh, his, his gear also in the US oh, yeah, that's without, right. without getting But as part of the qualification test, then we have to make sure it withstands so many wash cycles. <laughs> now, Bruce, I think there are so many interesting machines you've got here and, and, and gadgets you've got here. We could talk for hours, but we oh, don't absolutely. have that time uh, in the episode. Uh, but thank you very much for being on The Fighting Show. And I've got one patch, the official Fighting Show patch for your coat. This is yours. Thank you very much. Well, thank Chris. you very much. That's brilliant. That's great. Yeah. And now thank you. I will ask Hayley what we do next. So Hayley, what's next? Well, you've seen it being manufactured yes. through to testing. It's now time for you to try on. Uh, really? Yes. Oh, you get the full... Oh. Okay, thank you very much, Hayley. Now, before I try that on, um, I don't know what's happening afterwards. So, thank you very much for guiding us around. This is the official fighter ship patch for you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, well, now I'm going to try it on live here in the fighter show with Flo. Wow, looks good, feels good. Guys, that was the episode about flying shoots of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Many thanks to Servitec for hosting us today. Uh, take care, see you soon, and may the Air Force be with you.